Hello everyone! We are back with more Clash Royale League Asia action! Here are the 5 good games from CRL Asia Week 7. On Day 1, OG and Entus played against Bren Esports, who were still reeling from their defeats back in Korea. In the tiebreaker Game 3 of Set 1, Astro had a significant lead and looked confident. Noam Sai was not ready to give up as he sent in Rascals, Miners and Balloon. Astro aggroed the troops with a Tesla and tried to deal with the Balloon with a Mega Minion and Spear Goblins. Noam Sai's Balloon somehow survived with 1 HP remaining and landed a devastating attack on the tower. What a comeback! Yui Chan and Chashu of OPGG Skeleton was responsible for ending AHQ Esports Club's five-match win streak. In Set 2's match point game, AHQ Jerry Song and Yao Yao were able to take down a tower, but OPGG Skeleton responded with double golem princes pushing down both lanes and taking AHQ by surprise. The Rage Spell and Lumberjack's Rage Effect both kept OPGG's troops buff and completely destroyed AHQ's tower. In the final moment of the match, OPGG played two golems and rushed them towards the Princess Tower with a Rage Spell. AHQ attempted to delay the golems with two tornadoes, but it didn't really matter as OPGG secured the match victory. In the final match of Week 7, Edo of Sandbox faced off against AHQ Esports Club's AHQ Kangshi. It was a tough matchup for Edo, but he was able to keep up. Both players each took a crown into the sudden death period. Edo attempted to stop Kangshi's Lava Hound with the Three Musketeers. However, Kangshi reacted swiftly by playing Log and Fireball spells simultaneously to wipe them out and earn a massive positive elixir trade. It was too much for Edo to handle, and Kangxi finished off the game with ease. OPGG Skeleton played their final match of the regular season against Bren Esports, who elected Chief Glenn to play against Didabong TV in Set 3. The match was fierce as both players traded chip damage with their Minor Poison and Splash Yard decks. The poison spell by Didabong TV helped to take out the Goblin Hut and crucially kept the Baby Dragon alive to let out a final breath of fire towards the tower. Chief Glenn responded with a counterattack with a Miner, but it was knocked back by the Bowler and activated the King's Tower. Didabong TV survived the assault and won the match by 19 HP. Man, that was close! The tie-breaking set 3 of Sandbox vs AHQ Esports Club was played between Kani and AHQ Kangxi. The Taiwanese player was on the brink of gaining an invaluable victory for his team when he sent mirrored miners towards the Princess Tower. However, Kani was able to knock the miners away for one crucial second with the log and kept his tower alive. He followed up with a crazy move by playing another Magic Archer and tornadoed the Valkyrie towards the tower, allowing the magic arrows to pierce through and destroy the tower. Pew pew pew! What a play! Now let's take a look at the current standings in CRL Asia. The Korea Division teams ended their regular season with an impressive 8 wins out of 8 matches. Kingzone Dragon X was confirmed as the winner of the Korean division, and Sandbox is guaranteed a spot in the wildcard stage. The Southeast Asia teams lost all eight matches, but due to the three-way tiebreaker between AHQ Esports Club, Bren Esports, and Fav Gaming of Japan, the Taiwanese teams leapfrogged Bren Esports based on the game difference tiebreaker. The Japan division was not involved in Week 7. The standing remains the same. And here are the remaining matches of CRL Asia regular season. On Friday, Bren Esports will want to regain the top spot in the SEA division. However, their opponent is none other than Gamewith, the leader of the overall ranking. A lot is at stake in this match, and what a way to start the weekend. Gamewith will face another tough opponent in AHQ Esports Club on Saturday. The Japanese team needs to win both of their matches this weekend to confirm their spot as the number one seed in the playoffs. Fav Gaming has a slim chance to qualify for the wild card stage, and they will surely fancy their chances against the lowest ranking team, Chaos Theory, who will not go down without a fight. 
That's all from us. Stay tuned for more Clash Royale League Asia action.